Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review and demo of the of two Essa Water products and these are their little black primer which tints, amplifies and set your lashes before or after you put mascara on and the other one is the little black liner which is a thick thin ultra fine pen. So I, I'm just going to show you what these look like. I am this, the ultra fine pen or the ultra fine thick pen by Essa Lauder is in the shade on a oinks oh my god how the hell do you see this I've seen it so many times this name oinks o-n-y-x I don't know how to pronounce that so this is what it looks like here it is double ended and the one end is the ultra fine side which says it gives you a nice um, sleek precision line because it is ultra ultra fine I will do a little close up for you of it it's ultra ultra fine um, which gives you a really precise line and then the other side of it is a kind of flat edge which says gives you a nice classic um, liner or you could turn it onto because uh, it is like flat edged or you could turn it onto so you could use it just to be like that or you turn it onto its flat side and it gives you a more thicker for line for full on drama basically so yeah it says to shake it before um, using it because you can hear like some little balls wrapping about inside it um, so that must be getting the liquid flowing properly um, so yeah I'm really looking forward to using that and I will be using that in a minute so the other product I've got as I said is the primer and this is in the in a black shade and this um, tints, amplifies and sets your lashes before or after applying mascara. Um yeah, you can use one bare lashes to tint them for a silky for silky black and natural lashes um, or as a primer to amplify your mascara's lash effects. I'm looking forward to using this and I don't have an Essa Lauder um, mascara so I'm going to basically just use my favourite mascara and then I'm going to top it off with this. So first of all I'm going to just apply my eyeliner first. So I'm going to try that out. I'll zoom in a little bit more for you. So this is a very fine tip. I'm just going to start lining my eyes with that. take the tip here I'm going to do this side and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back later on with the thicker side and then you do a wing with that so I'm just going to go on to this side now Ultra fine saying it's gave me a really 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 nice precise line like I didn't put a wing on with it just because I'm going to use the thicker side for that so it's giving me a really really precise line it's really jet black it gives a nice little kind of glossy tinty sheen to it which I think is really really nice so I'm now going to just go on to the thicker side and I'm going to just try that and do a little wing or try to do a dramatic wing um so yeah I'm going to try that and then I this is a wing that I've got using that broader side there and um, as you can see the the thicker side of it actually gives you more of a doesn't give you that nice precise wing like flick like a nice wee sharp tail it gives you more of that sort of rounded um, look at the edge of your liner at the edge of your wing sorry which is actually really quite nice it's really more dramatic rather than a nice cat eye like a really nice tail or precise flick um, so I actually quite like that it's round it's a little bit different than other um, eyeliner pens out there so I really like that for that um, yeah what I really like too about it is when I use the sort of the point sorry of it the, oh, sorry wrong side I use the point side of it there first to draw my kind of line for where I'm going to put my wing and then what I did is is then turn it onto the side on the flat side and then basically drag it right over on you know like basically drag it over to create that thick broad wing and yeah it, basically because it's the the end is really flat it basically um just gave me that one stroke like thickness which was great so i really like it for that that was really good that it did that um so yeah i'm actually really liking it because it's a lot different than um other eyeliner pens out there than now um and yeah it's a really really jet black shade that's absolutely gorgeous i really really like this so far so now i'm going to just go on to doing my 
lashes with the primer that I have. So this is what the primer looks like. It has like this gold rising on here and a nice gold tip here, which is really nice. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this as a primer for my lashes first. Then I'm going to coat it with my favourite mascara and then I'm going to coat it again with this and see how it goes. <laughs> So I've zoomed in a bit for you here and this is basically what I've got with using just that primer itself. This is the eye that I've done. I've not done these lashes yet, I've done this eye here. And as you can see they're really really long, well I feel as if my lashes are really long, really like lengthened and they've got a good curl to them. I really like that. So this is the result I've got on both eyes now, on both lashes. So guys, as you can tell I have nothing on my eyes now. So what I did is, this is actually the next day, this is the day after I filmed the first part of this. The reason why I did a second part to it is because I wanted to actually show the lash primer um, with nothing on my eyes, like without the liner on or anything like that. I wanted to just have my eyelashes bare. So as you can see probably from the last clip there, like the primer did give a lot of kind of like length to my lashes. It doesn't make my lashes totally jet black like the way a mascara would, uh, but it's really good as using as a tint, especially if you didn't want to wear, to wear a lot of mascara one day, you could just basically use that as a little tint, which I think is really good because it gives you a lot of length and gets a nice curl in your lashes and sort of lifts them up and gives them volume. So I really think it's good, really good for that. So I'm just going to use my mascara and then I'm going to use the lash primer on top and see how it goes. Just use the top coat to see if it kind of lengthens even more than what this mascara does. So I applied my mascara to this eye here and as you can see my lashes are quite jet black now. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the primer quick. So I'm going to get with that and see if it makes any difference to my lashes. So that's my eye after applying the primer and I don't know if, it made a, I don't know if it's made a huge difference to my eyelashes but my lashes do look a little bit more multiplied, excuse this little bit in the corner here, like I've got a little kind of droopy eyelash and it's sort of, yeah it's sort of going all funny, so excuse that inner bit there, but yeah, I think it's actually made my lashes a little bit more sort of like multiplied as if I have more lashes in a sense, I don't know if it's made it longer because the mascara that I did use is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara which is fairly like, they do really give you a lot of volume, it does give you a lot of volume to so I don't know if it's actually give, gave me more uh, volume and length but however it might make my mascara last a lot longer um, throughout the day. But what I'm going to do is now on this eye I'm going to use the primer um, first and then use the mascara and see if there's any difference um, between both eyes. So I'm just going to do that now. <laughs> So I'm now going to move on to my mascara and see if there's any difference there. So this is me having applied the primer first on this eye and then going on with my mascara and I can see a bit of a difference. Um, I see that this eye has like the lashes are more sort of like straighter and volumised unlike this one that's a little bit more messy like and just sort of like they are vol it is volumised but it's not as lifted and is straight up as these ones, these ones are more messy like and these ones are more sort of like quite quite lifted and straight and um, I think we're looking at it and um, yeah so what do you think do you think it look different do you think it looks better with the primer on first or as a top coat and um, let me know in the comments what you think is best um, yeah, well this is only one mascara I've tested it with which is the Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara and I know this is quite a good mascara as it is so again it could be uh, a mixture between the mascara I'm using and primer but anyway going on just basically what I've did there um, I'm actually preferring it as the primer first rather than the top coat Just do a little close up there for you just to see the sort of difference So that's it, I have tested the lash primer out um, three ways for you. I tried it out with the tint, which was nice, just using it as a kind of light mascara, which does make your eyelashes very kind of like, like volumised and lengthened, especially if you don't want um, too much um, mascara on, depending on what you're doing that day, if you want a really nice natural look um, for whatever, maybe a really good idea for the gym if you want to still have your lashes really nice, I don't know, but whatever you think, um, 
you could wear and light mascara to it. Um, and then also like I tried it on one eye um, as a top coat and also tried it on another eye which was uh, like the primer first and I do see a difference between the top coat and the primer and what I would, would say that the primer is, do using the primer sorry first is a lot better than using it as a top coat which is on this eye. Um, so yeah that's what I would say. And then also the little black um, thick thin ultra fine uh, liner pen is really good as well. I didn't use it for this look for the fact that I wanted to show you how kind of all my your lashes go or how, how well it would work and um, so that's why I didn't put the liner on for the end bit here. So basically overall I really do like the liner. The liner is really nice um, because the liner gives you that curl at the end rather than they give you the nice precise cap flick with the retail uh, so I do like it, it gives you more dramatic curl at the edge, makes it bolder, more thick light. It's good that it is uh, double ended so that you can use it um, as a more clean cut liner and a more bold liner so that's really good that way, I really like it, it's really jet black and also has this glossy sheeny finish to the liner as well. Um, and then the primer, I would say I definitely use it as a primer rather than a top coat, well that's the way I find that it's best, one best working with it. Um, so. Yeah, it's really good as well. I really, really like how this eye has uh, became more volumised with using that primer and my lashes look more multiplied in a sense. Um, so just hopefully it lasts all day now, which I hope, I think it would anyway, uh, because as I said previously, yesterday when I did try it, it was quite, quite hard to actually remove with my wipes and my, my micellar water. So what I would say is make sure you have a really good micellar water uh, or eye makeup remover to remove it because it is it doesn't go, it doesn't budge, it really just stays there and it dries pretty fast so also work quickly with it if you're using it as a primer or a top coat so remember that um, so yeah that's everything for this video I really hope you liked and enjoyed this review give it a massive thumbs up if you did um, I will link below where you can get these products from you can get it from Look Fantastic I will leave them below in the search box I'll leave a link to where you can get them below if you want to check them out for yourself um, and yeah so I really hope you liked this video enjoyed and yep, I'll speak to you soon in my next video bye